The simplest kind of control statement in Python is an if statement. So in an if statement, we are generally trying to evaluate some kind of condition. If that condition is true, then we execute an indented code block. So in this example, we have a variable which we have named is Friday. We set the value of that variable equal to false. And then if the value of that variable is true, then the indented code block which follows this colon is executed. All of the lines that have the same indentation level are executed. In this particular case, since we've set the value of is Friday equal to false, then the if statement will evaluate as false and this will not uh, be executed. But if we were to change the value of is Friday to true, then we would be asking if is Friday is true and the answer would be yes, those code block um, lines would be evaluated. So one of the things, tricks that I did here when I was naming a Boolean variable to keep track of something, I named it in such a way that made the code readable. So for example, I'm asking the question, if, if it is Friday, then it should do these things here. If it's not Friday, then it should not do these things here. So by, um, it, there isn't really anything uh, special about a variable name. We could name variables any way we want, but typically we will name them in such a way that when we are reading through our code, it makes sense and is easy to figure out what is going on. So let's go ahead and try this code out and see if it works. So first of all, let's leave the value of is Friday equal to false and run it. We can see that when I run the cell with the value is false, nothing happens because the condition we're testing does not evaluate as true. On the other hand, if I change this to true and run the cell, now it prints whoopee and then it prints TGIF because both of those are indented to the same indentation level. Here's a more complicated example. In this situation, I don't have a fixed value for the variable that I want to check. Instead, I allow the, per the user to input a name and then I perform an evaluation of the name that they put in. So here we are evaluating, is the name equal to Mickey Mouse? That will evaluate as true if the string that they typed in was Mickey Mouse, but it will evaluate as false if the string they typed in is not Mickey Mouse. Once this has been evaluated as true or false, then the, the value that's evaluated to then becomes assigned to a variable called is Mickey. So then I show what name did the person type in and then whether the value of is Mickey is true or not. So an important thing to notice here is that when we do the comparison operator, that is to evaluate whether uh, two things are equivalent to each other or not, that's a double equal sign. That's different from the assignment operator, which is only a single uh, equal sign. Then I perform the evaluation. If the value that they typed in was equal to Mickey Mouse, then is Mickey will be true and the if statement will evaluate as true. If is Mickey is true, then it will perform the indented code block, which is simply to print you are a Disney character. If the value is false, it will not print you are a Disney character. In either case, it will do the print command where the indentation level has moved back out from the indented code block. So the non-indented pr print statement is always performed regardless of whether the if statement is true or not. This is just to emphasize that indentation is super important in Python. And one of the gotchas that tends to happen can happen to people who are not using a good code editor. Um, any code block that has uh, lines that are not indented to the same level will not be considered a block of code. And sometimes you can have a code block where the indentation on some lines is a tab character and the indentation on the other lines in that code block are multiple space characters. Python sees a tab character and multiple space characters.
characters as a different thing. And so it will create an error saying that you don't have a consistent indentation level. And this is, can be a very insidious problem to solve because when you look at the code, they both look the same. One of the standards for style in Python is that co code blocks are always indented by four spaces, not tabs, but actually four separate spaces. So when you're using a good code editor in Python, if you hit the tab key, it will insert four spaces, not a tab character. Of course, you could also just hit the space bar four times, but tab is more convenient. You can also frequently highlight some code and hit shift tab, and it will unindent your code block by removing the four spaces. So this is just something that that anyone who programs in Python has to be super careful about because indentation is so important. So let's start with this very simple example here where we set the name equal to Fred Flintstone and we evaluate is Fred Flintstone equal to Mickey Mouse or not and obviously it's not so the evaluated value of this comparison here should be used to set is Mickey equal to false. So Let's go ahead and try this code block. And we can see that what I set the value of name equal to was Fred Flintstone and that the comparison with Mickey Mouse, which we called is Mickey evaluated as false. Now we just check whether is Mickey is false or not in this line. We can see that it was false. So the indented code block here does not get um, executed, but the unindented one does get executed. If we go in here and change this to Mickey Mouse, now let's try running the code. So I typed in Mickey Mouse, Mickey Mouse is equal to Mickey Mouse, so is Mickey will evaluate to be true. Now when I run the test, is, is Mickey true or not, it should evaluate as true and print you are a Disney character. So that worked. This is a bit of a clunky sort of way to do this. I mean, first of all, we don't really want to hard code the name. So here's a variation where the user is able to put in what they want. So let's put in Minnie Mouse. Minnie Mouse is not the same as Mickey Mouse. So when we evaluate this, it does not say you are a Disney character. Let's try it again. Let's try it one more time. In this case, even though I typed in Mickey Mouse, I did not capitalize the two M's. So those are a different set of characters than the string that I defined here. So it evaluates as false. And it's going to say that Mickey Mouse is not a Disney character. So this brings up an important point, which is that Python is really not that smart. Just because we name things is Mickey, it doesn't have any idea whether we're testing if something's Mickey Mouse or not. Um, also, it doesn't even know that we're typing in a character. It just is a set of strings and it performs a test for us. We can simplify this code instead of evaluating the condition separately and assigning the result to a variable and using that in the if statement, I can just directly make the comparison in the if statement right here. So I'm just going to simply check is the name equal to Mickey and evaluate that right in the if statement. So let's try that. Okay, it printed Donald Duck, but it did not say you are a Disney character which is kind of bizarre because Donald Duck is actually a Disney character. But it, as I said, Python is stupid and it doesn't really know what we mean. All it is doing is evaluating things. 